Hello everyone. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install BAN without using Windows subsystem for Linux. So uh, it's actually very easy now to install BAN because we can just uh, copy this command and uh, run it on our command line like cmd or in PowerShell. So I'm going to open PowerShell. Okay, then I'm going to uh, copy the command that we need to install it and then I just press enter. So now the installation are going, ongoing. You can see the progress here. So we now just need to wait. Okay. And that's it, it's done. So, BAN 1.1.2 was installed uh, successfully. The binary is located on this territory. To get started, we need to uh, restart our terminal, then type BAN. So, if we just type it here, it will, oh, it, it's running actually. Okay, but uh, if, if it doesn't run on on this window, we can open a new terminal like this. Then we can uh, type it. Okay, so now it's run. We can also uh, check the version of BAN installed like this. Okay, BAN min v or BAN min dash dash version. Okay. So it's uh, simple like this, and that's it. That's how uh, you can install a uh, bun right now without uh, using Windows subsystem for uh, Linux. So it's it's not very easy. Uh, maybe one thing that we need to con uh, we need uh, to consider is uh, how to uninstall it because the installation is very easy, and the uninstall it, the uninstallation. It's maybe a little tricky if we are not familiar with PowerShell. So the installation is, uh, this is something that uh, works for me. Yeah, but I still don't know uh, maybe if there is any side effect. So uh, the installation is located in this directory. So if we want to uninstall this uh, burn version, uh, for me, what I'm doing right now is I just uh, delete this uh, directory, this bun dot bun, yes, yeah, this directory, this folder. I just delete it, and then uh, I will not be able to run bun anymore. So that that is what I'm doing if I want to uninstall the uh, bun. So that's it. If you have any question or maybe you have something to discuss, you can leave it on the comment section. So that's it uh, for now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on the next video.